okay dear students so let us see what is happening in this question a car is driven from rest along a straight horizontal road the car engine exerts a constant driving force okay there are two type of questions like we know that there is a formula like power is equal to force into velocity so uh, in this question they say that force is constant but there are many kind of questions like they are very difficult questions in which the power is given as constant but not the force so that becomes a altogether a different problem so we will see if that is ever required otherwise we will keep it um, simple as it is given in the question now so the friction and the air resistances are negligible how does the power developed by the engine change with the distance traveled okay fine so we need to find a relation between the power and s that is the displacement so how to do that now power is equal to force into velocity and this formula um, stands for instantaneous values always um, but when it when the values change at that time like many a times integration is required but otherwise p is equal to fv is always right for instantaneous values so now this force can be written as okay i say that this force is constant as it is given in the question so if it is constant so it would be moving at a constant acceleration and that acceleration will be f by m and important is more importantly the acceleration will be constant so acceleration will be given by f by m and it will be constant acceleration okay fine now because acceleration is constant we would be able to apply uh, these all formulas s is equal to ut plus half at square all the equation of motion that is v is equal to u plus at so all these three uh, equations are valid in this question now the next is we need to find the relationship here so what can we do now f so okay uh, the body is at rest so I'm using this equation now. So V square minus U square is equal to AS. Now U square is zero. So V square is equal to two AS. And acceleration is constant and two is also constant. So uh, we substitute the value of V from this to this equation. So F, sorry, P power is equal to F into V. And velocity will be the square root of this the square root of this so power uh, in this formula now the force is constant and acceleration is constant so direct there is a formula now that the power is directly proportional to the square root of displacement the body is having so at last we have found the relationship now so we can say that p square is directly proportional to s fine so power will increase with the distance but it will be a non-linear relationship uh, so it will be increasing non-linearly so d is the correct answer by the way linear means uh, the graph between the two will be a straight line that the power is directly proportional to the displacement but non-linear means it can be parabola it can be hyperbola it can be anything but not a straight line so just wondering how will be uh, the graph look like for power and the displacement okay i'm rubbing a little part of it now you can just jump back if you want to see this thing again so the graph will be somewhere like this this is the power this is displacement now it becomes y square directly proportional to x as i have discussed this graph in many other questions on youtube also that this graph will be like this so it is a parabola in which y square is directly proportional to x okay so this will be the graph of power versus displacement so it will be increasing but after some time power will definitely become constant uh, it will not become constant no i'm sorry for that okay so with this all the best